Mental Fox here with more Fallout 76. Let's take a look at the map and see where we are. Way out here, real close to the Mothman Museum, close to Point Pleasant, at Blue Ridge Bunkhouse. Why are we over here at Blue Ridge Bunkhouse? Well, we're trying to make our way up here to this transmission station so we could locate the transmitter facility. It's part of this quest that we've got from the Brotherhood called Over and Out. Scribe Valdez has a lead on a long-distance transmitter we could use to get in contact with the Brotherhood of Steel on the West Coast. I've been assigned to locate the facility with the transmitter and find a way inside. That's what we've been trying to do, but, uh, well, there's just so much new stuff out here since the last time I played. We, uh, discovered Oregon... Well, we, I think we discovered Oregon Cave North first. We found, found Settler's Ridge. We found Oregon Cave South. Oregon Cave West. And now Blue Ridge Bunkhouse. All exciting discoveries, no doubt. But there's yet more to be found. If we look in this direction on the map, I believe I see two things. Or maybe just one. I'm not sure what I'm looking at in this direction here. So we're going to walk, even though it's the exact opposite direction that we want to go in. I don't want to miss out on an opportunity to see something new. Something that we haven't seen before, maybe. I think we haven't seen it before, because if we had seen it before, it would be on our map, and I don't see anything on our map that looks quite like that. So we're going to start walking, but I'm going to, I'm considering, uh, I don't know, man, um, the, the, the food and water thing, you know, when I first started playing it again recently, I tried to keep my food and water meters in the lower right hand corner uh, full, and then I had, I don't know, one, two, several people tell me, ah, uh, there's no debuff for that anymore, uh, like there used to be. There's just a buff now if you have it full. And I was kind of like, eh, you know, it's kind of a hassle dealing with that. Do I really want to deal with food and water anymore? Uh, but then lately I've gotten some comments encouraging me to take advantage of the buffs that I get for being uh, fully uh, hydrated and fully satiated. Uh, so I'm considering it. Uh, I don't know what the, the, the perks are, but uh, I do have plenty of, um, I know I have plenty of food and drink really for these things. Uh, as far as water goes, well, we've got a lot of purified water. I could drink one, two, and then, um, what else could I drink instead? Anything else I've got? Should I just go ahead and drink another purified water? We'll just do that. So I've got full hydration. I don't know if I get any kind of boost from being, oh, here we go. Fully hydrated. Um, endurance plus one, uh, action point regeneration plus 35 disease resistance plus 35. You know, that's actually pretty doggone good. That's not bad at all. Uh, I'm not sure what the endurance plus one gives me. Does that give me more carry weight? I don't remember. You guys have to remind me of that. Well, let's see what being having a full belly will give us. Although I think a lot of the food I have is now kind of kind of spoiled because I haven't been eating it. But if we sort by spoil, um, let's see, do I have it? Yeah, we got spoiled fruit. We're just going to drop on the ground. Look at all this spoiled meat. Oh, what a shame. Let's dro drop it all. That's just a shame. Spoiled vegetables. Uh, we could eat some uh, mac and cheese. We could eat some delicious canned dog food. Uh, some dandy boy apples. Boy, at this rate, it's going to be a long time before we get... We need some meat. That's what we need. Noodle cup. Uh, potato crisps. It's going to make, make us thirsty. These potato crisps, crisps are making me thirsty. Some Insta mash. Okay, we're maxed out on that. Let's take a look at what... Uh, okay, check it out. So this food here... Okay, so this just lasts a minute, though. Oh, okay, this is restoring... Oh, fully fed. There it is, my bad. Uh, max hit points plus 35. Strength plus 1. And disease resistance plus 35%. Well, yes, indeed, there are some very good uh, bonuses to be had for being fully hydrated and um, fully fed. So that might be worth it. And to be honest with you... I kind of like having a reason to kill mole rats. <laughs> I can kill mole rats and get their meat. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Well, right here. What is this place? Looks like a camp. And it doesn't look like, uh, like an undiscovered icon to me anymore. We're walking up here. But there's no icon here. So it's 
got to be a new place. We've got a latrine down here. Anybody home? Knock, knock. Well, we don't see anything. Let's take a good look. Nope, it's fresh. Nice and clean. What is this place? There's a lot of people here. Look at my compass. What? Forward Station Tango. Huh. Okay. Oh, a Verdi Bird. Remember we heard heard somebody mention something about a Verdi Bird. I came too far to get turned down now. At Fort Atlas, didn't we? Something something happened with the Verdi Bird. Here it is. Here's the Verdi Bird. Hey, uh, you guys, uh, you don't mind if I take this boiled water, do you? Uh, thanks, guys. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Brotherhood initiate. It's okay. Oh, maybe we'll learn what happened to this thing here. You should get that mutation treated as an example to the other troops. You should mind your own business. He's just jealous that he doesn't have the same mutation. We have mm. to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. I don't know about that, dude. That sounds kind of weird. Don't, don't, don't say that around non-brotherhood people, okay? Wow, what's the fire down there? Look at that. Do I know what that fire is? Ooh, look at that. What is that? What's that building down there? Let's take a look at our map and see if we can tell. Well, I mean, are we looking at the Gilman Lumber Mill? Is that what we're doing? Speak to Lane. I don't know what this is. Uh, help the responders keep the peace in the forest. It seems some people have moved into the lumber mill near Vault 76. I should find their leader and figure out what's going on. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that right now, but I guess that's where I'm seeing this smoke come from. I don't know. Looks like a pretty bad fire, doesn't it? I don't know if that's a signal fire or what. What's down here? Check this out. Some kind of tank-like vehicle. I don't know what the, the name of this vehicle is. I know that thing up there is a, a vertibird. What's this thing called? Just a troop movement thing? I'm taking their stuff. It's part of part of my payment. The sound of that. Scientist soldier. You won't regret it. Oh, okay. Let's go. Uh, Brotherhood initiate. Is there any named NPC here? Uh, if you guys are just gonna leave ammo sitting around, I'm gonna take it. I mean, that's just that's just how it goes. This looks like the start of a real force in the wasteland. I'm not sure if I should be thrilled or terrified. Find, protect, and preserve. Find, protect, and preserve. What's going on up here? Okay, could you tell me who's in charge here? The wasteland is hell. Stay vigilant, initiate. I saw an initiate gains say something. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Good to see you, initiate. Anything you need? Um, well, I mean, I'd like to learn a little about you. A personal inquiry? I suppose I can entertain that request. Um, why did you join the Brotherhood? You know what it's like out there? Why doesn't everyone join up? The Brotherhood came to my homestead. I'll never forget that day. We just scorched suffered a scorched raiders, attack. The ghouls. Devastating. If anything tried to attack, there were more lurking. And we knew we wouldn't survive another wave. Knight Shin showed up with a few of his troops. Just him and a few soldiers cleared out every scorch for half a mile. When they returned, they passed the sign-up sheet around. I knew that if I joined them, I'd never feel helpless again. Okay. What do you think of your current posting? It wasn't my desired assignment. I hope to be a knight someday. And I'd rather be out there cleaning up scorched, ferals, and other mutants. But being Brotherhood doesn't just mean killing bad guys. The information we gather here will be valuable for rebuilding society. And I always follow orders. Do you have any family? 
protection. I have an older brother. I have everything I He was in the army during the war. They shipped him out to California and then on to God knows where. I don't know if he's alive or dead, so... I choose to keep believing. The Brotherhood is based out west, so... Maybe we'll cross paths one day. Hmm. Maybe we could find out about our brother when we get this transmitter set up. Let's talk about something else. I'd prefer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the Brotherhood of Steel. All right. But I don't tolerate gossip. I hope I get to meet them in person. What is the Brotherhood of Steel? We are an organization dedicated to the reestablishment of peace and order in the United States. Our founders are remnants of the armed forces. But we are not strictly a military organization. We also conduct research on pre-war technology in an effort to preserve and reproduce it. Our work benefits us all. Okay. What are you doing out here? Forward Station Tango is a forward operating base. Our primary mission is the salvage of this vertebrate. But we also provide some measure of safety for those in the area. Where is the Brotherhood based? We're based out of California. High Elder Maxon is our commander-in-chief. An expedition led by Paladin Romani, Knight Shin, and Scribe Valdez crossed the continent to re-establish a presence here after the original org went dark. The Appalachian Brotherhood has established a base, Fort Atlas, Fort in the mountains Atlas east of here. Hands. Knight Shin's trained as well. Let's discuss another topic. Very well. I want to know more about the other groups of people around here. I'll share what intel I can. What, uh, how does the Brotherhood get along with other factions? There's always an underlying tension. It's only natural that the people here are suspicious of a powerful outside force. They'll come around. We've already recruited a fair number of native Appalachians, myself included. People see the appeal. That's, that's, that's all you have to say? Uh, what's your opinion on the other factions in Appalachia? The settlers are frustrating. They should be our allies, but they're stubborn and independent. They should leave those traits to the raiders, who will burn themselves out on chems and violence soon enough. The responders in the Blue Ridge Caravan Company leave us alone, and let us do our jobs. The others should do the same. I see. Um, another topic, maybe? Alright, what would you like to discuss? I was just kidding. I need to get going. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, Anesha gains. Let's see, do you have anything good that I'm interested in? How do I show that I'm fit to be a squad? Uh, a blood pack. Blood water. Setting up camp. I'm beginning to regret signing up for this mission. All I knew was we were sent to salvage an old crashed vertebrate and set up a base on the nearby cliff. What I didn't think about was the ride over here. I still have no idea how our APC managed up and down that hillside. So that's what that vehicle's called, an APC. Lugging supplies the rest of the way up was the worst part. Luck started to change when reconnaissance came back saying there's a small moonshiner's shack just east of here. Davis and I snuck over there the other night and purchased a bit of the good stuff. By dawn, or by damn, by damn, did we heard in the morning though, okay. Now we're hearing reports that cultists or we're seen wandering nearby and heading into a cave system. We've yet to check it out to see what they might be up to. Oh, wait until you find out. <laughs> uh, some dog tags. Uh, field scribe's hat. We're gonna have to pick up the pace if we're gonna get this data back to Scribe Valdez on time. Uh, eyeglasses, bulk oil. Let's see, what's this little place here? Oh, hey, what's up? The a little radio, typewriter, Tinker's workbench. So much oh, up. oh, we're taking that ammo. The elders have so much to teach us. I hope I get to meet them in person someday. Yeah, me too. Anything here we're interested in? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, it's kind of cool to find this place. Stay strong, friend. No telling what the next challenge will hold. No, there's no telling. Oh, hey, look, ammo. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, let me see. Let me do a spin. See if there's anything else new showing up on my compass. It doesn't look like it. 
So I guess that means that um, we can start making the walk up here to our ultimate destination. So let's do it. This is my place, my mission. Anyone who walked the whole length of the country just to get here has earned my attention. Wait a minute. Our saviors have finally arrived. Something here. We've got a tool case. Ammo. Hooked pipe wrench mod. Uh, take that stuff. Just like the old army, eh? Join up, defend yourself, and see the world while you're at it. Yep. Scrappity scrap. Scrap my junk. Weapons. No weapons to scrap. This is a note on the ground? Your mission. Check it out. Delta, I'm making an adjustment to your usual patrol route. Rather than a typical loop around the perimeter, I'd like you to expand your radius to include the road nearby. We've cleaned up the debris in the immediate vicinity, and the station has been secure for the last few days. But reports from Alpha indicate increased traffic, hostile or otherwise, along that artery. Between Scorched, Raiders, Cultists, and the Odd Robot, it should be a fertile training ground for some of our greener troops. I know that's not strictly in line with our core mission, but I feel quite strongly that we need an effective fighting force at Tango to tackle any unforeseen circumstances that may arise. That said, this is still a patrol, not a search and destroy mission. Don't go out of your way and endanger yourselves looking for action. I expect to see you back at base safe and sound tomorrow morning, just with a little more experience under your belt. Ad Victorium Initiates. Yeah, it's always fun to find stuff like that. All right. Keep fighting out there. Back down the hill we go. As we make our way up to the transmission station. Beautiful day for a walk. The best kind of day for a walk. Nice and bright and sunny. Everything looks so bright and colorful, and vibrant. So this hydrated thing, uh, how long does it stay or stick around? We're at 78% and we're still considered hydrated. Don't know how hydrated I need to be. We'll see if we can figure that out. Because those are indeed some pretty good perks. That's the caravan. Wait a minute. There is indeed a new icon on our compass here. This is this is actually the icon I saw in the last episode. The one that I thought was two icons on top of each other, but maybe not. I don't know, but we're walking this direction anyway, so let's uh let's see if we don't walk past it. And then there's that that icon there, the radioactive icon. That's pointing over here to Black Mountain Ordnance Works. But this here, let's see where this takes us. Not sure what that symbol there means. Oh, what is this? Okay. Stuck on a log. What is this place? Bunch of people here. They've got a flag? I don't remember what that flag means. Are they gonna be hostile? Gunfire down there. A Mothman? There's a Mothman down here? Do I want to tangle with a Mothman? Hey, what's up? Oh, you think you're bad, don't you? You think you're bad. Where'd he go? 
Did I even hit him? I don't even know if I did. We scared him off. Good job, team. Good job. What is this place? Is this a raider camp? What is this? The coop. What would Keith do? I don't know. I don't know a Keith. Okay. I guess, nope, these are not showing up as enemies, even though they're just gonna be raiders. Ooh. Keith Cooper's terminal. <laughs> yes, let's unlock it. Boy, do I want to see what's in Keith Cooper's terminal. Woo. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can't get rid of some duds here. Here we go. There's a dud. Boop. Gone. Mm, let's see what else we got. If I'm just doing a quick scan here to see if I see any... You guys probably will see some that I don't see. But I'm trying to be quick. Because I know that watching me do this is not the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, it's pretty close. It's pretty high up there. But not the most exciting thing. Okay. Uh, it's just four letters. This shouldn't be too difficult, he says. Stupidly. Uh, real. No likenesses at all. Okay. Uh, hunt. And we're in. Holy cow, Keith Cooper, you have a lot to say. Welcome back, your lordship. Keith Cooper's eyes only, a better leader. It's been a few years since I've had a terminal. Hell, it's been a few years since I had to write my own entries. My old E601 series took care of that for me. Oh, how I miss the luxuries, and more so the assistants. Before the war, I was Keith Cooper, the wealthy CEO of Granite Wolf Insurance. Every desire I had in life, I made it happen. I realized just how cooperative people could be if given the right uh, motivation. And that's exactly where I found myself last year. After the last survivors I was with served me no more benefit, I found a group of nomads run by a friendly leader named Chris. He was a decent guy and led a decent group. Trouble for him was, the good times were over. People like him wouldn't last, and I made sure of it. He and I were out on a little hunting excursion when there was a little... accident? Well, let's just say he didn't make it back to camp with me. Lucky for everyone else, I was there to step into old Chris's place as leader. I could be a better leader, in fact. I could help these idiots. And they could repay me the favor. I mean... What else are people for? <laughs> the end of Terry, Lord. So there I was, having a wonderful time with two beautiful ladies, when Terry came in and started causing a scene. He was unhappy with his and James's wives, who were in my room <laughs> relaxing. A few cocktails in hand and me around their arms. It's not my fault he was born a loser, when I was instead born a winner. He couldn't take the fact they wanted to be with me. Anyways, he starts shouting, getting angry, and causing a scene when the rest of the peasants came in to see what was going on. So I bluffed them. I said, Terry here has been trying to tear our little family apart. He wants to see everything we've all worked for crumble. He wants to hurt me, the one who wants to help all of you. I couldn't believe my fucking eyes. Within moments, they all had Terry by different limbs and were pulling him apart. When his arms popped off, man, I haven't laughed that hard in years. Justice really is sweet. This guy sounds great. A loyal family. After last week's little Terry incident, I confirmed to myself that these idiots will already do damn near anything I say. It used to take weeks or months to gain people's trust before they started doing whatever I said. It's easier than the damn Salem witch trials these days. Someone causes me trouble? Boom, shot to bits. Another eats a tasty meal that should have gone to me? Smoked alive in the pit. The peasants have been begging to do anything I say, so I put them to work. The men do the labor, and the ladies help me out with my requests. Someone doesn't like it? They're clearly trying to destroy our family. However, Biff was upset with me the other night. A real shame, because he's the most useful to me. Big, strong guy who manages to intimidate people before we have to kill them instead. Well, he wasn't too happy with how I've been taking advantage of people. Luckily, all I had to do was remind him how easily I could make everyone turn and kill his family. And he fell back in line. I can destroy his, 
I can destroy his entire world whenever I want to. I will make anyone's life hell if they get in my way. Garbage day! I was starting to get bored with who was left out of the original group, so I gave a little speech I had been preparing. Essentially, I told everyone that who all was left was clearly the best of the best, but we needed to find more members to join our thriving family. They should go out and find new members and bring them to me. If they didn't want to be a part of the winning team, then they clearly wanted to destroy us. Into the pit they went. Made convincing a lot easier. This all worked surprisingly well. However, the real fruit was the resources we were getting. The Crater Raiders. My scouts ran into an interesting group yesterday. They call themselves the Crater Raiders. Apparently, they're doing pretty well for themselves, and that means a nice piece of the pie for myself if I can get in. I'll be meeting with a few of their leaders in three days to discuss deals. I dabbled a bit in the drug business before the world went to shit, so I have a few things I can bring to the table. Shouldn't be long until I'm the one calling the shots. This Meg bitch is going to be the biggest obstacle for me, though. From what I hear, she doesn't seem like the type to take orders from others. I'm sure I can find ways to make her budge. After all, I'm always right. Merging with the group. Things are not running as smoothly as I had originally hoped. Many people have made the right decision to respect me due to my charming personality and good looks. But others seem to be suspicious of my intentions. My group of idiots have shuffled into the Crater Raiders well, but I, however, haven't been given the leadership role I deserve. I should be able to convince people that the other leaders are not worthy. It might take some time, but these idiots should soon see that Meg is too useless and weak to be in charge. It should be me. They're either with me or against me. Well, let's see how that's working out for old Keith Cooper. Oh, look at that painting. I hadn't seen that one before, I don't think. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got a gold pocket watch here. We've got a Huff Warbler dish. What the, what is a Huffler Warbler dish? Whoops, oh no, I locked it off. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat these. Munch. And I'm gonna unlock this safe and I'm gonna steal their gold pocket watch. I mean, they're scummy raiders. These are the rules of raiders. You leave something sitting out, it's gonna be stolen. Okay, let's do a little bit of uh, safe opening. Uh, we're gonna remove concentrated fire and we're gonna put Expert picklock and master picklock on. And uh, we're going to help ourselves to whatever's inside of this safe. Because uh, these are scummy raiders and they have no privacy at all when I'm around. Who raids the raiders? I do. Haha, <laughs> suckers. Let's go back here and put back our good park card back on um yeah I think this is what I've been doing right concentrated fire I believe gosh I almost reached up to hit F5 sometimes I wonder if there's more to life than Dyson Dicer is wondering if there's more to life than Dyson I mean it sounds like old Dicer's having a uh What's the, what's the phrase I'm looking for? A, um... Wow. I cannot think of the proper phrase, but hopefully you know where I'm going. Hey, Dicer, what's up? It's Dicer because I like to dice things. Not because I like to gamble. There's gotta be some better loot around here. I'm tired of the same old shit. Well, go look for it. I mean, I just found all kinds of stuff in a safe in there. Are you here to talk about Keith? Because Keith was great. Well, what happened here? A tragedy. We used to have Keith to lead us. He was a smart man. He, he always told me what to do. Well, I guess someone didn't like that. They didn't like what Keith had, so they... Oh, no. They killed him. Poor Keith. They retaliated. A lot of people died, but in the confusion, I'm not really sure if we got the bastard or not. Anyway, we don't have Keith anymore, and I, I don't know what to do. It's a mess. Hmm. Tell me more about the Raiders. The Raiders? 
Oh, you mean us. Okay, um, what do you want to know? Well, I mean, who are the raiders? We're true Appalachians. We came to take back our home from all the other loonies who moved in. No offense. We come in all shapes and sizes, but uh, Meg is the big fish, if you know what I mean. She's a leader up in the crater. It's the biggest camp we have. Could you speak up, dude? You're talking really quiet. Uh, do the raiders have a home base? Every raider thinks of their own camp as their home, but we have a big meeting spot up north called the Crater. You could call it our HQ. That's where most of us live when we aren't out, uh, you know, raiding. Mm -hmm. Aren't raiders supposed to be bloodthirsty killers? Oh, the nuke has been launched. Well, pretty much all of us are killers. Who isn't these days? Am I right? <laughs> aren't you a killer? <laughs> we aren't as bad as Blood Eagles, though. They're raiders who were so bad, even we wanted nothing to do with them. It's pretty bad. What are you doing in this part of Appalachia? Keith led us here. Attention, <laughs> Poor Keith. He never really said why. I think it was to get away from Meg. Meg didn't approve much of Keith. Can't see why. Keith was a genius. Well, hopefully you could hear what he said over top of that announcement. Uh, you know I'm a raider too, right? You are? I mean, yeah, totally. No, you've got, you, you have the, the raider, the whole look and everything. <laughs> All right, let's uh, talk about something else. Not interested in us, huh? All right then. What? I already asked you everything about you. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts on the other groups in Appalachia. I hate those guys. I, I think... Uh, how do the raiders feel about other groups? We've got a bit of a feud going with the settlers. They came in here saying they were gonna rebuild Appalachia, but we had first dibs. I think the Brotherhood of Steel is even worse. They're like settlers, but fish... Uh, 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 fishes. That's, that's what Keith called them, anyway. Blue Ridge is just kind of frustrating. Normally we raid caravans, that's our MO, but... They're a tough target, so I'll mostly settle for trading with them. What do you think about the other groups? I don't think much about them. Uh, unless they're the ones who kill Keith. Then <laughs> I want to tie them up with a, like a, a big fat knife. Let's change topics. Oh, sure. I want to know more about you. Wait, uh, about me? I guess. Um, you really liked that Keith guy, huh? Liked? <laughs> liked is an understatement. He was our, our leader, our warlord, our god. He knew everything. I didn't have to look at all that. I hate it when things get messy. It's gonna be a while before you... you seem young. Have you been a raider long? All my life. It's usually how it goes with raiders. Settlers don't wake up one day and wish they were free. They're mind slaves. I learned that from Keith. Mind slaves, huh? Do you like living out here in the woods? Um, it's nice, I guess. It was nicer with Keith around. The crater is great, but it's a lot less green. And it smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> Our camp smells like corpses, so... <laughs> just like anywhere else in Appalachia. There goes the bomb. Why do they call you Dicer? Oh, I, I dice things. A lot. It's kind of my thing. I've diced everything under the sun. Onions, tomatoes, Brahmin hearts, human hearts, human torsos. <laughs> Give me that look. What'd you expect? That's pretty funny. Talk about something else. Oh, all right. Yeah, I guess I'm not that interested. No, you're not. I'll talk to you later. Sure, sure. I'll find something else to do. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, death from above. Oh, there's a nuke inbound. Not anymore. What is Meg now? Who neat? Look at this. Keith's chair. Got some uh, liquor here. Some rum, some bourbon, some wine. Bad selection. Oh. Well, I thought I had already heard the bomb go off before. Uh, let's have a seat and see if anybody freaks out. You know, not bad. Not too bad. Yeah. 
Not too bad. Oh, what that's supposed to be? Some kind of artwork or something. This place sucks. We were better off up north. <laughs> this place sucks. Let's see what's going on over here. Like an authority figure, are you? <laughs> oh no. Oh, what is that smell? Oh, right. What happened to this guy? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, let's see here. Here's some uh, chem box. Here's a chem box. Nobody cares that we're taking stuff. Because we're friends with the raiders. Couch up here. Oh, another raider. What the heck happened here? I'm going to check and see if I still have... Yeah, hydrated still. All these numbers are going down. Aha. Okay, I didn't notice. I think this was 35% before. You see, fully fed is still at 35%, but these aren't. So, in order to get those things back up, we need to drink some stuffs. Drink some Nuka Cherries. Sounds pretty good. Another dead raider. Well, I mean, I guess this is maybe part of... these. Maybe these were the people who supported Keith. This is what Dicer was talking about when there was a big battle and a bunch of people died. Here we've got a frag mine. Okay. Um, might as well do a quick scrap. Let's see what's down here. Kind of, a, kind of a neat place. Stay here. A mailbox. <laughs> oh, they have some power armor. Hmm, interesting. Gross. Here we've got Cash registers. Bobby pin box. Hey, no sudden movements. I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. Gotta love getting mm -hmm. stuff for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good thing those settlers haven't. Yet. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Murray G. Bones. <laughs> okay. I'm taking all your stuff, you stupid scummy bandits. Or raiders, not bandits. Who? Who are we shooting at, guys? Is somebody sleeping here? Yeah. Not sure what they're shooting at, but I'm going to let them handle it. I don't see anything. Vats doesn't see anything anyway. Explosive crate, I'm not gonna bother with that. I don't care that much. Dice up, slice up. That's all good. And then over here. Seen those mockman cultists yet? Oh, is this what they were shooting at? The iBot? Maybe. There's some Psycho. I don't know why I picked that up. I'll never use it. Ooh, a note. A life without Keith. Let's learn about a life without Keith. Life just isn't worth living anymore without Keith. He was the most incredible, talented, brave, smart, funny person to ever live. And someone just killed him. What are we going to do without his guiding wisdom? We're all going to die without him. That's a shame. I wonder who wrote that. I guess. Oh, gosh, another dead raider. My guess is that it was old Dicer here. What do we got down here? Anything good? Oh! 
Yeah, go ahead, keep shooting that iBot, see where that gets you. Well, the station that we're heading for is right down there. This was uh, certainly an interesting spot here on the map. The coop. Makes me wonder if uh, we wouldn't find anything here. Like there's a big, I mean, look at, look at this big space here where there's nothing. Look at that. But right now, we're going to hop on down this mountain here. And head for the, the transmitter facility. And that direction is like some kind of merry-go-round, it looks like. Yeah, the Tyler County Fairgrounds. Okay, we're getting close. see anything. There we go. Whoa. Huh. Yao Gai corpse. Well, it's up here on top of this hill. Good place for a transmitter. Got a little outhouse here. Hmm. Gold scrap. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. No trespassing. We've located the transmitter, transmitter facility. Now we need to find a way inside. Oh, mole rat. Oh, mole rat. That's right. That's right. Oh man, we have Enclave Corpse. Urgent requests. Someone needs to get up there ASAP. We have a serious security issue. A couple of scavs came poking around last night and waltzed right through the laser grid. My best guess is that the storm knocked the power out and completely reset the system. I may be just a security guard, but should the, shouldn't this have been tested? For crying out loud, we have a circuit breaker just outside the building. I'm going to need backup if someone with real firepower tries to get in here. Huh. Okay, the Enclave, huh? You got an air sensor. More mole rats. <laughs> Give me that. Give me all you've got. That's right. Ooh, I just heard a sound. Sounded like a laser grid. All right, come on. Come on, other mole rat. Where are you? Nice try, other mole rat. Nice try. Here we've got an APC, a closed APC. Yeah, I don't believe we can get inside of it. Check this place out. So we've got a hand scanner. I'm not going to scan it right now. Maybe a way in up on top. Maybe. Let's grab some wood. Since now I've decided that I'm going to cook food again. I'm going to need some wood scraps. Ah. Here is something that maybe we could... Yeah. Circuit breaker lid. Okay, maybe we could use that to get inside of the place. And I don't see anything back here. Can I get on top of this building? I sure can. Can't get in from up here. All right. Well, I need to end this episode. So I'm going to do that. End this episode here. Oh, this is somebody's camp. Yeah, my stash is kind of full. 
that's kind of an interesting place for a camp so close to i, I kind of like it though real close to this i guess my camp is pretty close to um a location as well right my camp is um right um i think it's my camp right here it's real close to east mountain lookout and kerwood mine but anyway I need to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we will uh, reset the power and see if we can't get into this building and see uh, what kind of cool stuff is inside of it. As always, I thank you guys for joining me. Sure hope you had fun. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.